cooking for my pets, I, or I feed them raw or cooked, I want to color the rainbow. So if you look at that photo, you see the bright orange and the purple and the blue and the red and the green, and I get the yellow with the egg yolk. So um, some people choose to use grains in their diets, some do not. For the most part, I do not use grains for my dogs or my cats, uh, but it is a possibility, and for some animals, it can be helpful. So what we want to talk about today, uh, the most important principles in food therapy are the principles of yin and yang. And so if we think about uh, yin and yang, um, those are the two opposing principles in Chinese medicine, and they have to be balanced at all times. So we need to have the yin and the yang, and we want them to be in harmony. So when we look at the energetics of food, everything we eat has an effect on the body. And you might not feel the difference, but it is happening. And so anything uh, that we put into our body, and this goes for essential oils, for herbs, for food, any of those things are going to have an energetic effect on the body. So we'll talk more about what that is. So it may be something that's warming, making you sweat. And this dog says, don't eat out of this one. The family cooks really hot curries. So if you think about it, people who eat, uh, so uh, people from the Far East very commonly will eat very spicy hot curries. And what it does is it makes you sweat. And for us, when we, so that's adding uh, heat energetically to the body. For us, when we sweat, it actually has a cooling effect because then the breeze will come along, dry that water that's on our body, and it helps us cool off. For our dogs, that would be panting or sweating through the foot pads. Mm -hmm.